Fulani terrorists abduct over 100 villagers for not paying tax to them. Demand 2 million naira ransom for each abductee. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 27th of December 2022. And I have this very news for every one of you listening to my voice right now, wherever you are all over the world. You see, the reason why I'm making this very broadcast is to bring this very news to the world so that they may understand the game that the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom Nigerian government is playing with the lives of the citizens of the said country. This very news has so many things to write home about. I would want you to pay very close attention because I'm going to be reading this very news from one of the Zoo Gotha media outlets. From one of the Zoo Gotha media outlets. So that nobody can say, eh, it is propaganda by Biafra agitators. No. I'm going to give you the headline and i will tell you the source of the news so that if you don't believe my own you may go and make your research just on google in order to read for yourself when you see a gota media outlet in the zoo reporting this kind of thing that means there is an atom of truth in it because these media outlets in the zoo can do everything they can in order to hide in order to shed the zoo in order to you know to secure the zoo from collapsing they can do everything they can take all manner of bribes in order not to report the atrocities of fulani in the zoo but whenever you see them report something like this that means it has gotten beyond bribe so that's why i'm reading it and please endeavor to share it if you see this very news now let me read from sahara reporters and their headline says terrorists kill traditional ruler three others abduct over 100 farmers in niger over unpaid tax demand 2 million naira for each abductee this is the headline from sahara reporters which you can equally type it in the google for you to read for yourself in case you don't believe what we are saying and it says more than half of the victims were kidnapped while harvesting maize beans guinea corn and soya beans on their farms you see this thing did not happen just in one day the abduction of the farmers and villagers took no less than three weeks and the you are in nigeria where all the military and police are all in the southern part especially in biafra land kidnapping and killing innocent villagers while terrorists are kidnapping and killing innocent villagers in the north and you are in the zoo called nigeria let me continue reading Terrorists have killed no fewer than four farmers and abducted over 100 others, including women and children from 14 communities in Mashegu and Rafi local government areas of Niger State in the last three weeks. More than half of the victims were kidnapped while harvesting maize, beans, guinea corn and soya beans on their farms. Those killed were a traditional ruler, two vigilantes, and one other person during an invasion in Mashegu local government area, Daily Trust reports. Now, it is no longer only Sahara reporters. You can say, eh, because the owner of Sahara reporters, Omo Elisha Ore, is, you know, uh, contesting for 2023 presidency, and therefore maybe he's trying to tarnish the government of Buhari now daily trust is a typical zoo gutter media outlet they are not fighting or 
contesting for any you know position in 2023 in the government so they are tarnishing no uh, government or the image of any politician they are simply a zoo media so you can go there and read for yourself so she said the communities attacked in Machegu included Sabon Rijia, Sohorami, Bakwai Bakwai, Mulo Kawo Mulo, Nasrawa Mulo, Mai Azara, Foje, Mutundaya, Beji, Gadam Malam, Gadam Malam, Bokut Bokuta, Chetaku, and Bazi, forcing residents to flee to Ibi town and other safer places in the local government area. In Rafi, the part of Shiroro local government, 61 farmers were reportedly kidnapped in Gidigori, Pand uh, Pandogari, and Durumi communities in the last two weeks. Residents said wild bandits had also imposed 3 million naira tax on each of the communities as a condition to stop kidnapping them and allow them to harvest their farm produce only one of the communities had been able to pay. So bandits imposed 3 million naira tax in you know uh, against the will of the people and the, against the government. So they imposed 3 million naira on each community before you will be allowed to go to your farm and the government of Fulani is fully and totally aware of this very development and nothing is being done about it now without further ado these bandits or oh, stop calling let me stop calling them bandit terrorists this very terrorist group known as Fulani bandits they are coming to collect or to pick this tax because these poor farmers and villagers are not sending this tax through bank or you know mobile money it is done by hand-to-hand -hand payment and this ban this terrorist will come to the village and collect the tax and the government is aware I want you to connect the dot. That's why I'm just I'm talking. I'm not reading. I'm talking now. I want you to connect the dots to see the game that is being played. So, full any terrorists will come out of the bush or from the bush to come and collect tax from the poor villagers and farmers in Niger State and the so-called security agents are aware that terrorists are coming in the villages of this very local government to collect taxes against the will of the people and the government and they are aware of it but they have nothing to do <laughs> that is the reason why the one they call the uh, gumi sheikh gumi told you yesterday don't vote to anybody who will kill their bandit in the bushes because they are their warriors and you are still in the zoo, right? <laughs> you still want to go and vote? <laughs> Poor people everywhere. Poor, very wretched Nigerians. Umuokoko, very stupid element. You want to go and vote in 2023, isn't it? They are resident who spoke to the newspaper said the rural communities in Mashegu, Mariga, Kuntagora, Rafi and Shiroro were still not as safe as widely publicized in some sections of the media. One of them, Mohamed Sanusi, said that one of the vigil vigilantes he simply identified as Abubakar was shot dead after he was abducted alongside other vi uh, villagers on Thursday when kidnappers bandits attacked Mulo and adjoining communities during which the village head of Mulo, Al-Haji Usman Garuba, was also killed.
Attacks have been going on for the past three weeks in villages in Mashegu local government area. Right now, over 50 people are in the hands of bandits. One vigilante was killed in Sohon, in Sohorami on Sunday. He was kidnapped alongside other people in Mulo and other communities on Thursday and he was shot dead. Another vigilante was also killed on his farm in Soho in Sohorami recently. They met him harvesting his crops on his farm and they killed him with a cutlass. Right now, we cannot harvest our crops. Maize, guinea corn, beans and soya beans are getting spoiled on our farms, he said. Another resident, Abdurrahman Inuwa, said that residents of Fage and Mulo have all fled their homes. They ask villages to pay 3 million naira tax each. It is Nasrawa Mulo that has been able to pay the tax imposed on communities. One of the three people abducted in Mulo was released and he was asked to go home and look for money to secure the release of the remaining people. On Sunday, another boy was abducted in Fage, in Fage village, but he was released when he told them that he was from Nasrawa Mulu that had paid the attacks. So they released him saying that residents of Nasrawa Mulu have settled them. Nobody goes to harvest his crops now. Who will go and get kidnapped? The man queried. You are not with your farm, with your farm produce, and you get kidnapped again. Where do you get money to pay the ransom? The man queried again. What we are left with now is prayers. The situation has not improved in our area. How will it improve when we don't have conventional security in our area? Up to now, four village, four village heads are in their captivity. It is only the police in Mashegu that do go on patrol and they are not more than 10 in number with only one vehicle and the vehicle is not even in a good condition, he added. <laughs> Mad people everywhere. But they are here. They are here in the east with thousands of armor tanks and all that. <laughs> I want to harness and douche these criminals to understand the game the Fulanese are playing. I will not continue reading this because of time. You can use the headline and go and read it for yourself. I want to harness and douche pastors and reverend fathers in the east here, here in Biafra land to understand the game the Fulanese are playing. Fools, governors, ministers, onanaga with entourage, with, you know, security, with uh, all manner of, you know, protection the way you want it. Both Mopo and all of them. Onanaga with escort. See the same zoo you are protecting. Look at what is happening in the zoo you are protecting. In the north, they are telling you that a Mashegu, as a local government, that it is only one particular place they have, you know, patrol team, not even up to 10 people. And the van is not good enough, you know, <laughs> to even pursue the so called abductors. But they are all here in the east. They are here in Biafra land. The police is here. DSS is here. Military is here. Uh, Air Force is here. They are all here doing what? But these so-called politicians and stupid and foolish elders we have here, they can't open their mouth to speak because they are all puppet of Fulani. Fulani Odibo. Shame on all of you. That's why we will stop at nothing until we make sure that Biafra is restored. And any of you that stop that want to stop us, we, you, are, you are going to eat very soon.